Okay, I just heard some movement to my left. What is that sound back there? Is that cattle? Or a motorized sound? It's pretty intense. Sasquatch, Yeti, Yeren, Yowie, and Swamp Ape. All names which essentially identify a legendary cryptid known across the world as Bigfoot. It goes by another name here in New Zealand. And I am today at the foot of the Coromandel Ranges on a very inclement day in New Zealand. I'm here with paranormal investigator and researcher Mark Capel, and we're hopefully going to have some sightings or perhaps capture some audio of New Zealand's own Bigfoot known as the Moihau Man. So what sort of sounds have you picked up in this area before? In the New Zealand bush, I've heard this these strange whooping sound. Some of it seems to respond to me. Now, the real weird stuff is, is picking up voices that mimic what I say. I have taken other people out with me and they like to mimic what, what us humans say. I've heard um, these very strange footfalls as well. Now, I normally wear a GoPro mic um, our point of view camera and they, they they're okay with picking up sound but they don't necessarily pick up stuff that's further away I might hear it so what I'm trying to do is um, use audio that will pick up um, things that are further away and so I've heard um, like 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 screams um, being followed um, having the feeling of being watched um, stone clacks uh, strange structures as well and as I've looked into all of this I look into the history of, of Sasquatch around the world there's various names around the world uh, there's a lot of things that, that happen here in New Zealand that uh, represent what's going on in other places internationally now the, there are um, there are many names for Sasquatch or Bigfoot around the world here in New Zealand one of the, the names is Moihau man named after the Moihau mountain over in Coromandel Peninsula and there's the, the Mararo and Rapawai and there's uh, several other Maori names now even the Maori talked about these strange wild men who they said could overpower their warriors and that they, they, they feared that would eat them or take their people So what are you looking for, Mark? Basically what I'm doing is listening to the, the ambience and nature around me to see if there's anything strange, any kind of strange footfalls, any very strange like animal kind of sounds or anything like that, that I find unusual. And this, this uh, parabolic dish will pick up about 10 times the range of a normal microphone. It's also shielded against uh, radio frequencies and EMF. So it's a professional wildlife mic and I knew when strange things started happening out in the bush that I had to get very good audio and also to try to debunk things too as, as uh, they happen. So Mark, what attracted you to this area in particular? Well, when I started looking through this area, I was originally looking at a historical old gold area and this is where I noticed these strange footfalls. And uh, as, a, as a paranormal investigator, I thought, well, what's going on here? Uh, and not only that, there was, I came across these very strange footprints um, right by the, this creek area. Now, this is an area where there are no public tracks and anybody that would go in there might be risking their life because it's very steep, you know, very thick, Terrain. New Zealand terrain is very hazardous, very unforgiving. It's like rainforest. You have to be prepared when you go out there. Things can happen. Um, things can happen where you, you know you might slip and hurt yourself. So, uh, 
you know, I would sometimes hear these voices, I'd pick them up on my mics. Um, I started researching and going, um, looking you know, basically around the world for what's going on. I put the pieces of the puzzle together to show this, this, there's something going on here and it seems like it could be something to do with New Zealand's Bigfoot or Moihau Man. After getting the lay of the land and hearing about the Moihau Man, it was time for us to get into the bush. Oh. Yep, yeah, we're gonna, uh, gonna need a rope for down here. This is very steep. That's typical New Zealand bush, very slippery and steep ha and hazardous. Then we found some strange wood piles. Now, sometimes in these kinds of areas of the wild, remote areas, we come across very strange wood structures, sometimes teepee-like structures, sometimes like, like um, branches that, that lean deliberately up against trees. Sometimes there's, there's um, arches deliberately pulled over to form like an arch. There's tree leaves where you get like a, a branch that gets placed within two forks of the tree. I believe that these are indicated. Now, there's some trees down here. This, these are obviously um, cut by man because they've got saw marks on them, like this. But what they do is that I, I've seen massive healthy trees snap down. There's no indication of lightning. There's no burn marks. So this area is a very small um, area, but these trees will just snap. And so, trying to find a reason for why that happened. Okay. So, people in New Zealand, some probably think I'm crazy. But what made this print down here, this 33 centimeter print that's bigger than my size 11 boot, right here? Heel here, the big toe. New Zealand's Bigfoot. I'm gonna get my casting material and uh, come back. Come back. Many have wondered if there's a connection between UFOs and cryptids. While we didn't come across any striking evidence of the Moihau man on this investigation, Mark and other researchers continue to find mysterious evidence that points towards the existence of these creatures. Reporting for Unexplained Cases, I'm Jim Birchall.